president and, 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 and a very destructive man indeed and very difficult to work with. At what stage did you decide to do that deal? I must say it was uh, quite an extraordinary decision to make, it's quite, uh, quite unusual for somebody who has won an election mm. to then turn up and say, let's have a power sharing ag ag agreement. It was not just my decision. Uh, it was the decision of SADC leaders. It was the uh, collective pressure of the situation back home. Uh, the people were really at the end. Uh, I think in 2007, 2008, the country was looking at a precipice. So how hard is it working with this man, or do you not work with him? I think, I think Jerry, the, the, one has to admit that when, you, when somebody is distant, uh, you have a different opinion. But when you work with a person for the collective good, I, I think you, you, you begin to evolve a new relationship. And that's what has happened. He has got the human side, uh, with humorous, uh, engaging, uh, which I think may be surprising to certain people. But you begin to have a sense uh, that here is a person I can do business with. For the sake of, but you don't necessarily have to agree on everything. Mm. So that's how we relate. Uh, and so the pictures we see of you occasionally, where the two of you are smiling, that's yeah, genuine. It's really genuine. Uh, it's really genuine in the, uh, what you call body language. Mm. Uh, I, I think there's no pretensions. Uh, uh, I think over the period, I think after the loss of election, and he told me, I lost the election, but you did not win power because you didn't achieve... Uh, the required uh, percentage. And of course I know he tampered with the results. Mm. And we know that we won that election outright. But there was an attempt even by President Becky to preempt uh, that outcome by saying there was going to be a, a runoff without even the results having been out. Yes. So that actually indicates the extent to which some people were involved in manipulating that mm. result. Do you feel, with a little bit of hindsight, that you haven't been supported by other African countries as much as you would have expected? One of the things that, that comes to mind, Jenny, is that um, we are a post-liberation formation. And as such, challenging a man with 40 years uh, liberation credentials, a guerrilla leader, uh, post-independence icon, was a real uphill task. We knew what we were up against, uh, that there will be people who will suspect that perhaps we were such a bunch of... Uh, of reactionaries who are only there to, to undermine the gains of liberation. We were aware of that. But what sort of consoled us was that uh, we had this whole national mood behind us. The national support, in spite of the repression, was very solid. So whatever the African leadership would say, uh, we were... We had, Console. Uh, we, had, we would console ourselves that we had the support of the people of Zimbabwe.